we're getting ready to turn in here at Thunder Mountain Speedway. It's in Corbin, Kentucky. Just wanted to record going up the mountain. Because apparently it's literally on top of the mountain. stones that they've moved probably making the track. Oh, I'm sure. Coming out of the ground. Yeah. It's pretty There's awesome. the track over there to the left. They've got a... All right. Well, we'll show you more in a minute. Yep. Hey, it's Jada. Hey, it's Jason. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Pettit, Pettit Life. Well, guys, welcome back to the Pettit Life. Hey, guys. So we are at Thunder Mountain Speedway here outside of Corbin, Kentucky for the first time. We were here for their uh, season opener. Kind of in our backyard. Yeah, it's about a little over an hour away. We're blessed to have probably six or seven tracks within an hour, hour and a half of us here yeah. where we live at. So, but we've not been to this Yeah, one. we've not been here before, so uh, there's a, a bigger race coming up later in the year. We wanted to come check it out here on their season opener and uh, kind of see what we might be dealing with when we come back for that one. Might as well. And uh, get you guys a little bit of weekly racing. So uh, hopefully you enjoy. As you can see, the, we are literally on top beautiful. of a mountain. Yeah. It's beautiful here. So uh, hope you guys enjoy. Here we are guys, Thunder Mountain Speedway outside Corbin, Kentucky, another one of the tracks within about an hour, hour and a half of where we live at. This is our first time here for the uh, season and opener. As we said in the intro, hope you guys enjoy. All right, 604 late model feature. We got Brad Siegel and Jason George on the front row. And here we go. Siegel going to get the early lead. George going to fall to second. Dalton Brown. And we got a spin over here in turn one and two. All right, that's going to be a complete restart. Brad Siegel, Jason George still on the front row. Here we go. Dalton Brown and Curtis Thomas battling back there for third. And we got more mayhem. All right, let's hope third time's a charm. And good start for Siegel. Dalton Brown 
Brad's going to try to get underneath. Jason George. So does Curtis Thomas. George falls to fourth. Jimmy Smith trying to make something happen on the outside, back in the pack. Just ain't a whole lot up there right now. Meanwhile, Siegel starting to pull away a little bit. Followed by Brown, Curtis, George. Smith still trying to make moves. On back in the back. Single file in front of him for now. Single closing in on lap traffic. Eight laps in. He's going to clear the first one. Coming to a restart with 10 laps in. Brad Siegel, still your leader, Dalton Brown in second. See how she shakes out here. Siegel gonna hold the early lead. Brown gonna stay in second. Curtis Thomas behind him. Jason George in fourth. They got a pass for second. Oh, he spins them both out. to a restart on lap 11. Brad Siegel still your leader. That's going to move Jason George up to second after that last caution. Siegel going to hold the lead. Daniel Shelton on the inside of George. Wyatt Boyd up to fourth now. Beating and banging and moving and shaking. Shelton going to go to second for now. Followed by George and Boyd. Jimmy Smith making a move on the inside there. See if he can get around Boyd. Single foul in front of them. Smith trying to work on Boyd on the inside. Not yet. Meanwhile, Siegel's pulled out a pretty comfortable lead over Daniel Shelton and Jason George. Back to this battle between Boyd and Jimmy Smith. All right, Siegel on the last lap. Commanding lead. Brad Siegel's going to win. Followed by Daniel Shelton, Jason George, Wyatt Boyd, Jimmy Smith. Congrats on Brad Siegel on the win. Open wheel modifieds. Van Petrie and Josh Hampton. Running one and two. Josh Thomas, Ace Claiborne behind them. Petrie got a good lead for now.
Labor still hanging out back there in third or fourth. Thomas is going to wash up the track a little bit. And starting to catch lap traffic. Baker's going to clear him without any trouble. gets close, something happens. Getting ready to catch more lappers any second. Later, Ben Petrie closing up on lappers. It's gonna get through okay. Second, third, still right behind him. More trouble getting around, and we got a caution. All right, coming to a restart with 12 laps in. Ben Petrie still your leader. Josh Hampton still in second. And let's see. Here we go. Good restart for Hampton on the outside. Is he going to hold it? Yes, he is. Ben Petrie might be going to third. Thomas on the inside of him. Have to check up behind him, and we got a pile up over here in three four. Boy, Ben Petrie got saved by that caution. Hampton got him on the start on the last one. And Petrie's gonna go back to the lead for now. Hampton to second. Josh Thomas on the inside. Base play more for third. there if Petrie slips up any at all. Thomas Claiborne. 22 of Mosley in the top five. Stumbles a little bit, we one and two. It's about the best race we've had all night. And another caution. All right, coming to a restart with five laps to go. See if Petrie can hold him off. And a good start for him again. Hampton right in behind him. Two wide behind them. Josh Thomas underneath. Claiborne. Mosley right there. Mosley looking underneath Claiborne. He's going to get him for now. Still right there on Petrie if he bumps up. Josh Hampton trying to find a run, trying to find a better line to get around Petrie. Gonna try something on the outside here. He's got to run. Not enough yet. And Petrie's gonna hold him off for the win. Hampton's gonna be in second, followed by Thomas, Mosley, and then Claiborne. That was a good race. Congrats to Ben Petrie on the win.
modified feature. Coming in fifth, going to be the 12 of Ace Claiborne. Coming in fourth, the 22 of Dustin Mosley. Best race Third of the night. The 96 of John All right, next up we got the Hobby Stocks. We got Bo Gilly and Zach Carr on the front row. This one's 25 laps, 1,000 to win. That's right, folks, 1,000 to win for the Hobby Stocks tonight. And here we go. And there goes Bo. Bo Gilly to the early lead. Carr's going to fall to second. Jeremy Britz. Fighting back there with Ross Burnett, third place. Slips up any at all, car's gonna be right on top of him. Pretty good gap back to Brits for third. Leaders are closing in on lap traffic with 10 laps in. Let's see if anything changes here. Car all over Gilly. Putting pressure on. Waiters back in lap traffic. Oh, we got a couple spilling right in front of the leaders. It's going to bring out a caution. All right, come to the restart on lap 13. Go. Gilly's going to get a good start. Car right on him. Brett. Randy Hacker trying to make a move underneath Ross Burnett for fourth. He's going to get there for now. Gilly's still out front. Coming to a restart on lap 16. And coming back to green flag this time. Here we go. Good start for Gilly. Oh, Brits trying to get in there on car. Ross Burnett on the outside trying to get back around Brits. And we got another caution. All right, we're going to restart them single file now. Still trying to get that restart in on lap 16. Gilly's to your leader. Car right behind him. Painter and Smith up to fifth now. Second. Ross Burnett hanging right in there, fourth place. All right, Bo Gilly coming to the white flag this time by. Follow him around. Is that car right behind him? If anything happens, Jeremy Britz. Ross Burnett, fourth. Bo 
Bo Gilly's going to take home that thousand dollars again, followed by Carr, Fritz, Ross Burnett, and Smith. Congrats to Bo Gilly on the win. And yeah, that concludes your hobby stock feed. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it, Jada? It was interesting. Um, <laughs> so the the place is really nice. The facility's awesome. Yes. One of the best burgers I've had at a racetrack in a long time. That's the best burger um, I've ever had at a racetrack. Period. Okay. Well, Why there you I go. Phrase that. There you go. Um, the bathrooms are nice. The bathrooms are nice. Concrete. Setting. Yeah, the concrete seating is nice. The layout's nice. The oh, pits man. look like they were nice. We're gonna hope that they just missed it on track prep tonight. It is the first race of the season. But I knew as soon as hot laps were going on and it already was taking rubber that we were probably in trouble. And, uh, oh, hang on. The truck's not on. Little lighting problem. Yeah, I thought I had the accessories <laughs> on, but I did not. So anyway, here we go. Like I said, we're gonna hope that they just missed it a little bit on track yeah. prep. Um, and I've seen tracks slick over black and still be racy and people be able to race all over them and everything, but Just, that didn't happen. It actually started taking rubber on the bottom. And yeah. other than the modified feature, which ended up being pretty good, it was follow the leader on the bottom. Whoever and was on the pole. Only way you were going to get past anybody is in lap traffic yeah. and stuff like that. But, which uh, is a shame because... It is a shame because... Um, you know, we really like the facility it's and everything. It's really nice here. Like I said, and, uh, it really is nice you know, here. hopefully it's normally really racy. And but, it's not uh, a one track. And not one, a one line lockdown on the bottom track. track. Nobody so. wants to see Choo Choo Train around the bottom. But we come up here tonight to uh, check it out and, and uh, see about where we might be able to film from because we've never been here before uh, because there is another larger race coming up later in the year that we may come up here to. And so we got that accomplished. And uh, hey, some racing's better than no racing, right? Uh, still got a video for you guys tonight. And like I said, the modified race there actually ended up being pretty good, uh, yeah. especially toward the end. But uh, it's close to home. You know, we always want to support local tracks and everything like that. And like I said, hopefully they just missed it a little bit on the track prep tonight. It was opening night. It was. And uh, stuff happens. I have been at some of the best tracks in the country. And then miss it on track prep and it'd be a snooze fest so yeah. not bashing the track at all um because i said stuff happens but uh yep. but yeah um hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it and um yeah we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, uh, well actually uh, don't forget to uh look on our schedule uh look at the at the link in the uh, description on the we website have it updated i think I've yeah i think it's it up through like may yeah i think for upcoming so, for potential upcoming events you know, a lot of them are going to be around closer to us yeah and uh okay. our affiliate link for sweet victory apparel company yeah uh, just a reminder again if you uh purchase something through our link we get 10 percent back uh yeah, and that and helps us get up and down you, the ray. road and we thanks again you. yeah thanks again ray young from georgia for continuing to uh, support us, out, us for uh, really travel expenses it. and stuff. Really helps out a yeah, lot. a lot. Yep. So thank you. Yep. And, and uh, we're going to go home. Yeah, we're going to go home, get this thing uploaded, and uh, yeah. might have another surprise for you tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, all right. Good night, guys. See y'all. Thanks again. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for our next big adventure. Like, share, and subscribe to get that content.